his life, my father has been subjected to hatred and vituperation. At the age of three, that man was already at the end of his tether. No wonder he yearned to leave his loving son the legacy of all that was best and most valuable of his life and death. I'll tell you something about me. I sweated over a hot desk all my working life. I was a first class civil servant. I do not say I was loved. I didn't want to be loved. When I got to the house, it was bathed in moonlight. The house, the glade, the lane were all bathed in moonlight. But the inside of the house was dark, and all the windows were dark. Backspin is a theatre company I set up nearly eight years ago to allow young actors the opportunity to explore and perform the work of Harold Pinter. And we performed at the Oxford Playhouse, at the Edinburgh Festival several times, and this year at the Lyric Theatre Hammersmith. Dame Penelope Rolton, who we are lucky enough to have as a patron of Backspin, once said to me, she said that his plays were like a canvas on which the actor could paint. And I think that's very true. I think other playwrights sometimes, they give you a painting and they say your version of the play has to look like exactly like this. Whereas what Harold does is he gives you the brushes and the paint and the canvas and then he stands back and says, well, let's see what you can do. Pinto has a really interesting use of language, uh, almost has a weapon, and particularly in this piece between our characters Andy and Bell. There's almost a war between the two of them in which they're both trying to uh, verbally kind of um, one up. One up each other. It also looks at the ambiguity of memory as the audience see the different interpretations of events that's happened in the past collectively for all the characters. A lot of the things he says seem on the surface irrational. I think that's one of Pinter's main things. He looks to show language sometimes fails characters and therefore like you have to look to the subtext to understand like the character's motivations. There have been times where lines can be interpreted in so many different ways. Like you start a scene in one way and then suddenly you look at it again and like, oh, that's a different way of doing it. And actually there's a hidden humour underneath it all, but that's not quite that's not obvious the first time you read it. Mm. Pinter's plays provide such a fertile platform for the intellect and the imagination of young people. There's such a variety of interpretation in each and every line. But every time I work with a new cast of young people, the decisions they make are totally organic. They're exploring these texts afresh. Darling, death will be your new horizon. That may be. Will I cross it as I die, or after I'm dead? 